I'm Ruckus Singh Ray, and this is your Power Star Wars News Bite. Today we're talking about Donald Trump's sky ride that won't even glide. Now here's your host who's got the most ghost dark nice nightmare. I'd say that Ray is scary, but I've been 10 feet from Stephen Miller. Now that must have been scary, Buttercup. Not as scary as the news. I'm Dark Knight's Nightmare, and the jokingly named Trump Force One is a Boeing 757 that became infamous on the 2016 campaign trail, spent nearly two years derelict on a New York tarmac with one of its Rolls Royce engines removed. Don't you wish Donald Trump was more like that? Looks kind of nice, but otherwise useless, as opposed to how he is. Big lump of overcooked cabbage that smells bad and is painted in Bahuki. Um, right. The Boeing 757 was built in 1991 and changed hands several times before becoming the flag of Trump's air fleet. He got it used? Then filled it with chicken wrappers and cookie crumbs. Trump claims to have paid $100 million for the aircraft, but similar planes run between $7 and $9 million today. It fell into disrepair during Trump's time in the White House. In truth, the last airworthy plane in the Trump business fleet was his Cessna 750, an eight-seater jet, which is painfully small in comparison to his 40 c 757 with luxury apartment. Trump once had 17 airplanes that all flew. Now he has only one that can still take to the skies. This is an important lesson. Don't buy toys you can't take care of. With a loaner energy on its wing, Trump Force One was flown to Louisiana for modernization. But with the Trump Organization cash-strapped, New York taking away Trump's golf course, and many of his other business ventures failing, Trump Force One may become one more American icon that was once great, but now looks like a big waste of space and money. I'm Joe Biden. Pink elephants are funny. Write your senators to support my infrastructure bill. And don't let the road you drive to work become the next Trump Force One. Then comment, like, and subscribe for more Absurd TV.